I wanted to make a more powerful source of AC wireless energy, so I wired four MOSFETs in parallel behind this primary and secondary coil, and it gives nice energy at 60 watts, as you see by all the wireless power here, without these MOSFETs hardly heating up at all. And the energy is quite strong. And it could probably go to 100 watts. So let's analyze this in detail and see how you can build it at home. It's quite useful for, for practical purposes rather than having just a Tesla coil that shoots energies all over the room. The primary circuit of this device is controlled by a DC power supply that will go to 120 volts. I've set it very low now just for demonstration purposes. Low power but still on. Go through a stabilizing capacitor of 100 volts. Then up this primary coil of nine turns that can be tapped anywhere of soft copper wire. And it's in resonating with a 1000 turn secondary coil of half millimeter wire. Then the primary coil circuit comes through these one ohm capacitors, two of them, to reduce heat through a fast diode to let them release into this bank of four MOSFETs in parallel, wired in parallel, red or black, on an aluminum heat sink. Now having one aluminum heat sink for the whole thing makes sure the heat is spread as equally as possible among all of them. Now, that's so what happens is when the primary coil turns on, the secondary coil makes a lens reaction to it, and that makes the whole system oscillate about 500 kilohertz. So the question is, how do we turn on the primary coil so that it oscillates to make wireless energy? Let's go into step two. Step two, we have a driver circuit which is powered by this other power supply that only needs to go to 12 volts, almost low power. And it runs this MOSFET driver which can handle a lot of power, and that controls the pulses from the secondary coil. So what happens is resonance feedback circuits come from the secondary coil, they come back into this driver over here, and they go out to this wire, to this bank of MOSFETs over here, four of them in parallel, and each of the gates for these MOSFETs has one 10 ohm resistor individually, and together they share a 10 k ohm, 10,000 ohm, drain resistor. So that's how the secondary circuit works to control the device. Now as a third part of the circuit, there's a wire at the bottom of the secondary coil that provides resonance feedback to tell the circuit how fast to oscillate. And that wire comes over here and I've put it through 50 turn 1.25 millimeter wire inductive choke that'll reduce high frequencies and that's what I put in the MOSFET. So this wire never gets very hot like the other one and the MOSFET won't get burned out by running at such high energies. Let's turn the whole thing on again and see how it works. I've got the MOSFET driver already turned on at 12.0 volts here taking very little power and I'm going to take this power supply and turn it up some to watch what happens. So I'm at 12 volts. When I hit about 14 volts, the light turns on. I've got it at 16, and it will continue to stay on as I turn the voltage up, just gets stronger. Here we are at 25 volts, 54 watts. And here we are at 60 watts. We can probably go to 100 impulses, but things are getting hot. Is it 60 watts? I touch this wire here, output. You can see the power will drain right through the insulation in my hand. And over here, the four MOSFETs are not getting that hot. They're getting warm, but these things are rated to 200 C. And I haven't blown one out yet. If I go to 100 watts, I might blow one out. But at 60 watts, they're quite stable. These resistors over here are also getting a little bit warm. That's where I put them on pads. And we're at 60 watts, and you can run this way easily for 10 or 15 minutes. And get lots of power to ionize gases or whatever you want. So thank you very much. 
proceed with extreme safety both electrically and also these wireless energies at 60 volts are quite strong so you shouldn't stand next to them too long stay at least two or three meters away because they go through everything best best wishes to you all hard work to the stars here's max power 56 on the power supply 21 watts it ionizes very well there's the light, here's the helium.